Hi and welcome on stitchingworld.com. I have shared many designer dresses with you till date but here today I share a very simple comfortable t-shirt idea which you can make for your everyday living and even if you are a beginner you are making it for the first time you can comfortably make it. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe and press the bell button so you could get all my designer dresses, ideas and videos. Measurements that you need is length, waist length, shoulder, chest, waist, sleeve length and sleeve bottom round. Formulas used are mentioned. You may pause the video and note down these videos, these uh, formulas so that you can use them. Fabric is about one and a half meter for a small size. We washed it, folded, pressed to cut front and back. Mark from the top. If the fabric is uneven from the top, then mark the shoulder, half of shoulder plus quarter of an inch or one fourth of an inch. Then we mark armhole length 7 and a half inch, 14 and a half inch for waist length and total length plus 2 inch or you can take 1 and a half inch for fold. Now we extend these markings for chest line, chest divided by 4 plus 1 inch. This top, this t-shirt is going to be very comfortable. You can make it for your outings or for everyday wear waistline can be one inch lesser than the chest line or you can use the formula waist divided by four plus one inch if you are making the length beyond hip then you can mark hip line at 21 inch and hip divided by four plus one inch otherwise mark the bottom same as the chest line Then we join the side markings. Here on the chest line we mark 1 inch lesser than the shoulder and join these markings till up. Neck Width is three and a half inch. For a smaller size, you can take it even three inch. Formula is chest divided by 12. We take half inch down for shoulder slope. If your shoulders are very slopey, then you can take it even three fourth of an inch. We join this marking with the neck. Take middle point on the armhole line shape the front armhole slightly in about a quarter of an inch inside and outer armhole the back armhole would be on the line the front neck that would be about four inch deep you can take it maximum seven inch deep but uh, four inches comfortable enough Extend this in 3 inch and shape the front armhole. No matter how big your size is, our head cannot be in proportion with our weight. The back neck is 1 inch lesser than the front neck that is 3 inch deep. But if you want, you can keep it even 1 inch deep. From the bo bottom, bottom of this dress, we go slightly up, about 1 inch up. From the side, we take 1 inch for the margins. Then we cut on the outlines. This is the tracing wheel. You can trace on the stitching line or sewing lines. Now cut on the 
outer lines If you have one taken one and a half inch or one inch for bottom fold take it now and shape it shape the bottom remove the inner part and now we will be cutting the front neck and front arm hole remember we have to remove the inner part first that 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 will be taken as a back of this dress now we cut the sleeve the fabric is folded we take the armhole length length or depth same as we have taken on the dress seven and a half inch and then we go about three inch inside make a slanting line length you can take 5 inch plus 2 inch more that is about 7 inch or you can take it more or less as you want armhole uh, this bottom length is half of bottom that is 5 and a 5 5.5 or more you can take less you should not join these markings go about half inch out and shape the back part of the sleeve go half inch inside and shape the front of the armhole about one inch for the side seams cut the outlines here we are cutting two sleeves the fabric was folded the back part of the fabric was out Here our sleeve is cut and we have cut the dress. Sewing this dress is very easy. You can check out any of my earlier videos. I have uh, shown you in detail. For finishing of the neck you need uh, about two small or one big bias strap. So you can just fold the fabric same color or different color. Bias Straps are available ready made also you can even buy them the width of this uh, bias tape is one and a half inch you can mark with your scale in fact it's very easy you know once you'll make your own t-shirt or top you would not like to buy from the market because the fabric that you can choose for yourself would be the best and you can make any design out of them out of this method what I've shown you you can make just any design okay so if you are not subscribed please subscribe and please let me know how did you like this video because according to that only I'll be posting my next videos take care goodbye have a very nice time